Hey guys, what's up? This is Laser Mode, and welcome to today's video, guys. One of the most interesting and most exciting things about Destiny is chasing those god rolls, chasing those best rolls when it comes to weapons. And every season, guys, we get returning weapons, we get new weapons that are being introduced to the game. And one of the hardest things is knowing which is the god roll, which one you should keep, which one you should dismantle. So today we're going to be talking about what are the best rolls for all the weapons that are coming from the, uh, from the new season. In addition to that, we're going to be breaking down PvE and PvE. So if all of this sounds like something you're definitely interested, a like would be greatly appreciated. And let's talk about the best rolls for all the weapons for the new season. So we're going to get started with one of my personal favorite weapons, which is this one right here, the Scatter Lock. Now this one in particular, guys... Uh, the reason I say it's one of my favorite weapons is because I've liked this weapon for the longest time. Now, this is not going to be your meta weapon, but I just like the way the weapon fires. I like the way it, uh, it actually feels. And I think for you guys, new guardians out there or people who are returning to the game, it's one of the weapons that you feel very comfortable using. Of course, for you most experienced players, you're like, you know, I, I'll skip that weapon. I have better weapons. But for, for those new players, coming back players, this is definitely a weapon a lot of people gravitate to. Now, this particular auto rifle falls under the kinetic uh, category, and it actually has some really good rolls. So let's talk about what the best rolls are. So for PvE, guys, we're looking for Arrowhead Break, Tactical Mag, Substance, and Rampage. Now, it's very important that you pay attention because these are almost the same across the board. The main one you want to be looking for if you're hunting for PvE is that Substance perk. It's extremely important. Now, the best rolls for PvP is going to be Arrowhead Break, Accurate rounds and surplus. Surplus is the one that you actually want to be looking for here. You could also do multi clip, but surplus is the main bread and butter of this one if you're trying to get a PvP roll. The next weapon we're going to be taking a look at is called Volpecula. Now, this is a brand new legendary stasis weapon. Volpecula comes with some very interesting perks, and this one I'm kind of a little bit like, you know, doubting what they had in mind here, especially with some of the changes they made into the game. So one of the interesting roles that it comes with is called Assemble. It's like firing line, but provides handling and reload speed instead of damage. Now it has another one called Shoot to Loot that lets you shoot an ammo brick to reload all equipped weapons from your reserve. Now this perk seems a little bit intuitive and, and not needed because as you guys know, primary ammo is officially gone now. So I don't see what they were thinking with these particular perks. Now, in addition to this, they also have another perk called Headstone, uh, which provides you with a stasis crystal at the victim's location after a precision kill. This one actually seems really good because it seems like we could synergize very good with a very nice stasis build, but the right column perk is the one that actually looks pretty good, which is called Harmony Perk. Final blows with other weapons improve the Harmony weapon damage and performance after you swap to it. So basically the way it works is you get a kill with an energy sniper or a shotgun, swap over to the Vulpecula, and enjoy that amazing damage buff that you're able to pick up. But one interesting thing about this particular weapon, guys, is how you're able to obtain it, because when you do the opening quest, you're going to be giving a nice roll. Now, let's talk about what the best rolls are for this particular weapon. So we're going to want to go with PvE. We want to get Hammer Forging Rifling, Tactical Mag, Shoot to Loot, and Harmony. Now, for PvP rolls, we want to get the same one, which is the Hammer Forge Rifling, Accurized Rounds, Tunnel Vision, and Explosive Payload. Those, I believe, are the best rolls for this particular weapon. So whether you're trying to pick it up for PvE or PvP, enjoy the uh, awesomeness of this weapon. One thing I did for forget to mention about the first weapon, which is the Scatterlock, you're able to pick that from the EDC. So if you need to get farming that, you guys know where to actually get it. The next weapon we're going to be taking a look at is called Legal Action. Now, Legal Action does not come with any new perks, but what it does have going for it is it comes with some really good rolls for PvE and also for PvP. So this is a very good weapon, whether you play either set of, uh, you know, whichever one you kind of main. For PvE, of course, you're going to be trying to get Surplus, Feeding Frenzy, Rampage, and Frenzy. For PvP, you're also looking for Killing Wind, Moving Target, Heated Up, and Tresh. Now remember, high-impact pulse rifles are still great weapons, so grab this new world drop wherever you can. So let's take a look at the rolls that I want to recommend for this one. So for the best PvE rolls, we're looking for Arrowhead Break, Tactical Mag, and a decision of deciding whether you want to pick Surplus or Feeding Frenzy. And this fourth roll, Frenzy or Rampage, those are the ones I want to recommend. Now, for PvP, you're looking for Air Hunt Break, Acrius Rounds, Killing Wind, and Tresh. The next weapon we're going to be taking a look at is called Servant Leader. Now, this is a particular weapon that you're able to do from playing Gambit. And this scout rifle is actually, it's actually been really good since it's been introduced to Destiny. And it actually makes it really cool because it's actually a rapid-fire weapon, which is kind of, you know, a scout rifle with full, almost full auto 
seems really really cool now one thing about this weapon is that it's very hard to actually get a god roll because it has a lot of perks it, it could roll multiple ways so it makes it very difficult to actually get a very good roll if any of you guys actually have a god roll on this one let me know in the comment section down below so let's talk about the best pve rolls so we have arrowhead break tactical mag shoot to loot and harmony so this is going to be very helpful for you guys now for the best pvp rolls we're looking for arrowhead break accurate rounds tunnel vision and kill clip overall in general this weapon is actually pretty good and i highly recommend it whether you're playing a lot of pvp or pve the next weapon we're going to be taking a look at is called fractitus this is a precision shotgun yes guys you guys are hearing it correctly a precision shotgun and it can roll slide shot and opening shot Back before the sliding nerf, this combo might have made uh, this weapon a top tier in the Crucible. But now, its PvP placement is quite not sure. And in PvE, Dual Loaded and Trench Barrel is a potent combo, but Harmony can make this shotgun an excellent way to delete problematic major enemies. So what are the roles we're looking for this one, guys? Of course, for the best PvE role, we're looking for Rifle Barrel, Assault Mag, Dual Loader, and Trench Barrel. For PvP, we're looking for Rifle Barrel, Accurate Round, slide shot and opening shot the next weapon we're looking at it is by far one of the funniest names out there is spoiler alert now spoiler alert has a lot of things going for you guys and don't be fooled by its miniature size don't be fooled that it looks similar to a previously old sidearm this actually comes with really good stats and really good rolls so stuff you're going to be looking at of course is for surplus frenzy these are remaining my favorite pve combos especially for sidearms but pvp players will likely enjoy killing wind and swashbuckler so let's talk about the best rules we have here. So for PvE, guys, we're looking for Fairpoint, SAS, Light Mag, Surplus, and Frenzy. I think that makes a very nice roll. For PvP, we're looking for Tactical, SAS, Ricochet Rounds, Killing Wind, and Swatch Buckler. The next weapon we're going to be talking about is called Shepherd Watch. Now, the reason I this I was probably going to skip this weapon because it's very hard for me to actually recommend farming for this weapon. But if you're trying to get this weapon... I would still recommend it, and I still want to give you guys the option to, you know, let you guys know exactly what you want, you know, you should be looking out for. But if you're looking for a good sniper, there are other snipers out there like Tranquility, which is a lot better than this particular gun. But well, let's talk about what the best roles for this one. So for best roles for PvE, guys, we're looking for Arrowhead Break, Tactical Mag, Outlaw, and Firing Line. For best PvP roles, we're looking for Arrowhead Break, Accurate Rounds, No Distraction, and Snapshot Sights. Those are the best ones we have. The next weapon we're going to be taking a look at is Crisura Mellow. Now, this weapon I'm really excited for because this is the first high-impact auto rifle we've seen in quite a long time in Destiny. And it actually comes with some really good perks, especially for its particular uh, archetype. We have Dragonfly and Frenzy, which are introduced here. And we also have Harmony, which is a very strong one paired with a right special weapon. High impacts are less common in PvE, PvP than other rifles, but are still quite viable for mid to long range engagements. So for best rolls here, guys, we're looking for PvE rolls. We're looking for the Flunted Barrel, Tactical Mag, Outlaw, and Dragonfly. For PvP, guys, we have Flunted Barrel, Accurate Rounds, Dynamic Sway Reduction, and Multi-Kill Clip. This weapon's actually pretty good, and uh, you guys are definitely going to enjoy using this one for either PvE or PvP, but mostly for PvE. Now, another brand new weapon that we're getting is called Soul's Verse. This is a brand new Crucible playlist weapon, uh, but unfortunately, this one suffers from the same immense perk pool as the other playlist weapons, which makes it very difficult to actually farm guard rolls because you have to kind of be spending a lot of time in Crucible or get really lucky with some RNG there. But once you actually get the rolls, this is what you're going to be looking for. So the best PvE rolls are Arrowhead Break, Tactical Mag, Surplus, and Frenzy. For PvP rolls, you're looking for Arrowhead Break, Accurate Rounds, Killing Wind, and Multi-Kill Clip. All right, so next weapon, we're going to be taking a look at the Wolf Town Draw. For those of you who are new to Destiny and you're probably wondering, wait, or returning player, you're like, what? We have bows in Destiny? Yes, guys, bows are still our integral part of Destiny. And uh, we have some really good ones out there. And this one comes with a has a very interesting perk that it might be a possibility, guys. It might be a possibility that it could one tap with the right rolls. So don't get it twisted. This actually could be a very good weapon uh, as long as you get the right rolls. And we were actually able to test this route. So for PvE, guys, you're looking for Polymer String, uh, Helical Fletching, Archer's Tempo, and Dragonfly. For PvP, you're looking for Polymer String, Helical Fletching, Archer's Temple and Adiago, which is the one that you definitely want because this could theoretically one tap, which we can't wait to actually test out. The next weapon, of course, is the Iota Decronus. This is a fusion rifle, got a few of the buffs in the Season of the Lost, but high impact fusions got charge time nerf. That makes him a bit more uh, cumbersome to use. 
Kickstart and Cornered will still be the best perks to help uh, alleviate that problem, but they're still going to have a relearning curve when it comes to this particular archetype, especially in the Crucible. Best rolls you're looking for this one is, guys, PvE rolls, Blunted Barrel, Accelerated Coils, Surplus, and Harmony. For best PvP rolls, you're looking for Blunted Barrel, Particular Repeater, Under Pressure, and Kickstart. The next weapon we're taking a look at is called the Annual Skate. Now, this particular weapon, guys, uh, I'm, I'm, I mean, I don't even know if I could recommend this one. There's still better, more viable hand cannons out there. Uh, but this is still a very interesting weapon, and this is the only thing you're able to get or have at the current moment. Of course, you're definitely going to want to know what the best rolls are this one. So for this one, we're looking for best PvE rolls, Steady Hand, CHS, Tactical Bags, Surplus, and Wellspring. For PvP rolls, you're looking for Faster All CSS, Accurate Rounds, Outlaw, and Time Playload. I didn't want to spend too much time with this one because I can't really recommend this one that much. There are a lot of better weapons out there. The next weapon we're looking at is called the Contingency Plan. This is another Rapid Fire Scout Rifle, but this time the archetype in this one is Arc Damage. If you want to replace them for the Black Scorpion, then this is definitely the one you want to get. Now, for the best rolls you want to look for this one, guys, for PvE rolls, Arrowhead Break, Tactical Mag, Substance, and Frenzy. For PvP rolls, Arrowhead Break, Accurate Rounds, Tunnel Vision, and Kill Clip. Those are going to be very fundamental. This is definitely a weapon I highly recommend you guys definitely try to pick up. The next weapon we're going to be taking a look at it is our first Nightfall weapon. It's called the Comedian. Now, uh, this is an aggressive shotgun, but unfortunately, they kind of toned down the aggression in Destiny, especially with the um, disadvantage of the little range that it does in PvE and the slide nerf, uh, you know, introduced into Crucible. It it's kind of has like a, you know, different spot in Destiny. But for best rolls here, guys, we're looking for... PvE rolls, Rifle Barrel, Assault Rifle Mag, an Assemble, and Trench Barrel. For PvP, we're looking for Rifle Barrel, Accurized Rounds, Bottomless Grip, and Whirlpool. The next one weapon we have is called Canis Major. Now, this particular weapon, guys, is a rocket launcher and a rapid-fire rocket launcher, but unfortunately, the DPS is just too low for me to tell you guys. You guys should definitely pick this one up. Even though, if you guys, this is the only thing you have, you're going to want to know what are the best rolls, right? So we have, uh, for PvE rolls, we have a uh, Volatile Launcher, Spike Grenade, Impulse, Amplifier, Chain Reaction. PvP rolls, a vo uh, Volatile Launcher, Proximity Grenades, Impulse, Amplifier, and Whirlpool. The last weapon we're going to be taking a look at is called Hothead, and this is another weapon that you're going to be able to obtain from the Nightfall. This is actually a rocket launcher that might convince you to put Sub-Zero down, but... This is actually a really good one, guys, because it does come with some really cool, cool, cool perks that synergize very well. The only thing worth going for here is Explosive Light. But with the Ascendancy at this season's Ritual Weapons, having Explosive Light guarantee and also the built-in tracking as a precision frame rocket, there seems to be a lot of reason to actually farm the Nightfall for this particular weapon. What are the best rules for you guys for this one? For PvE rules, we're looking for Volatile Launcher, Impact Chasing, Tracking Module, and Explosive Light. For PvP, we're looking for Volatile Launcher, Black Powder, Tracking Module, and Warpaw. There you guys have it. Those are the best rolls for all the weapons that came to Season of the Lost. Let me know which weapon you're chasing for. What rolls do you recommend? Do you think you would probably change something around for what and for which weapon? Let me know all that in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.